Welcome to the Light Tackle Angler Fishing Report. I'm Captain John Fulweiler. This is Captain David King. How we doing, John? Hey, what's going on? Tell me something good about fishing. Well, how about about the shoes? Uh, this Light Tackle Angler uh, Report is brought to you by Glog Glog Shoes. Uh, they're the best walking, uh, boating, beach, kayak, and shoe around. 5.5 ounces. Awesome, awesome. I wear them all over the it's place. Lighter than a foot long Subway uh, sandwich by far. <laughs> we'll be at the BNA flea market in Stewart this week, so if you want to come visit us and get a pair, that would be great. Also, at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, there'll be a representative there from the Glog Glog Shoes. So. How about let's start the fishing report? Why don't you start offshore? All right, let's start offshore, Fort Pierce. So there's some, been some really good fishing. Last weekend, there was a good bit of wind. Uh, this lap past weekend, it was good. This weekend's supposed to be great, too. Um, one great report off of Bethel Shoals. Rick was down there and he was in about 120 feet off of Bethel Shoals. Uh, hooked a sailfish, was fighting it. He was using live sardine and then he caught it the buoy. Um, while he was fighting it, he hooked a, a dolphin. In the meantime, he saw some black fins kind of skip up behind the boat and in the wave. More than 20 sailfish at one time wow. came by the boat. So there's a lot of sailfish starting to work our way into the area. We had that little brief cold front. Uh, there's still a lot of fish at the St. Augustine, but that's a good sign that you know some a bunches of fish are starting to show up. Right. Uh, there's quite a few black fins around. Uh, not big ones yet. They've been in the five pound range, ten pound range. Not any of the big ones that we're hearing about. You know some bigger ones down south. Right. Uh, there was a few good bottom fish caught on the reef. Mangrove snapper fishing good. Red snapper kind of fell off. Grouper fishing's okay. Um, there was a couple of cobia caught on the headboat one day. So. I guess there's a few of those still hanging around. Kingfish has been kind of non-existent. They kind of fell off of that dirty water really? after the ground swell. Uh, the few that were caught were caught south of here, down towards the uh, power plant area. So the kingfish probably will come in now that that water's getting real pretty again. You can tell by the water in the river here that we've got a lot prettier water. The yeah. swell's gone. I think they're down to two feet now. So uh, offshore fishing ought to be great this week. Some of that uh, greenies will start showing back up. They were out 55 feet. They should be back on the beach by now. What about uh, inshore around this area? Inshore. Uh, trout fishing, uh, trout closes, the season closes November and December. So it's coming up that uh, pretty soon you won't be able to keep any trout if you want to. But the trout fishing has been just outstanding. Uh, we just did a video with uh, Captain Charlie Connor uh, and it's really good. Catching some trout. Check it out on the website lighttacklangler.com. It, it turned out really well. Uh, snook fishing has been good, uh, so the redfish. The redfish tend to hang around the docks and in really shallow water. Uh, the tides aren't quite as high as what they have been. They actually have a low tide uh, this week, which is the first time in a long time. But the fishing has been really good here up off the floor. How's the mullet? The mullet have been slowing down just a little bit. Uh, I think the water's just so hot. You know, they, they push down with that last cold front, and we have another cold front coming, what, Tuesday or Wednesday. Right. So I think it, they're really gonna pick up again. Uh, but it's almost that time to be over. Yeah, you know? we're getting, like I was on the beach Sunday, there was croakers in the surf like the summertime. I know, exactly. You know, the water is just warm. I mean, you step right. in the water, it feels like a June, July, or August. I threw the cast net, caught some five, six, seven inch croakers, oh. threw them right back out, small snook, still in the surf. Yeah, right. there was some big Jack Cravel in there with them too, but I mean, I just threw it into the trough with nothing, and in a matter of moments, you know, there was like a 24 to 26 inch snook just stacked in there, eating those croakers. The water temp is like summer, but the daylight is like right. fall and going into winter, so they don't even, I had some reports of Pompano in the river too, and it's still 80 something right. degrees, which they like 70, so. And that's usually November, we should be hitting 79, right. you know, but we're not. So. Still got warm water, summer water. Hey, offshore down south. Offshore down south. Uh, Push Button Hill had black fins on it. That was one of the hot things we were hearing about. Mm -hmm. The kingfish that we were talking about off the power plant off Fort Pierce have been off Stewart better so than Fort Pierce. Uh, we're hearing good things in 50 to 70 feet of water. I guess those greenies kind of bedded down out there with the ground swell, so those kingfish have been all around those schools of bait out there. Right. Some of the headboats have been doing good on yellowtail still around. Warm water, yellowtail, an occasional mutton snapper. Once again, those big, big trigger fish, great eating. Uh, large sea bass, you know, 12 to 14 inches, which are really good eating. So now that's the mainstay. Some of the troll boats did good on the sailfish there, you know, kind of like they did here. Also, uh, a few dolphin. One day they caught 20 and 25 and 30 pound dolphin right. on a massive rip, had frigate birds on it and everything. 
next day later none to be found so if you can find a good edge which there's not many now because the water is blue way in uh, there's been good dolphin fishing on it that's kind of the best down south uh, down south inshore uh, up in the south forces especially all those snook the big mama snooks that were in the uh, inlets and stuff have moved up in that I guess the water's a little cooler up there uh, and they've been catching a lot on top waters. Most of those fish have been oversized. There are a few tarpon around, but they're starting to get out of here. They're starting to move a little bit further south. Um, that's about it down there. Anything else? How about your phone number? The phone number, um, my number is 772-979-6068. Or if you're in Fort Pierce by the Coast Guard Station, stop by the subway. You can check out, I keep some of the shoes there at the store. We can talk about fishing. Right. You can check out the shoes. Um, they have a great, we have seven different colors too. So stop by, you can take a good look at these shoes or the, you know, the B&A flea market this weekend. That'd but um, stop by, give us a fishing report. Um, I've got a couple lures. I'll give you a little, some, uh, some, some good shoes, stuff, lures, and, uh, sandwiches. and we got food, sandwich, chips, and cookies. <laughs> Maybe a salad. So come on down for the one-stop shop. Uh, there you go. Uh, like tackleangler.com. We have some new videos on there. We have uh, some captains, uh, some reports. Got everything. I guess that's just about it. All right. Well, thank uh, you very much. Thanks for joining us on the Like Tackle Angler Fishing Report. We'll see you again next week.